Well, hi, water signs. How's it going, my darlings? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the channel. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about the tarot class. Yes, you can access that below. There's a link in the description box if you want to learn how to read tarot. Uh, we do lives once a month, so you can ask questions. Um, also, tonight, this is um, the 23rd, I guess, on Thursday. <laughs> Thursdays, we go live on Patreon. Tonight is Thursday. I'm doing the reading on Thursday for the next couple of days. Um, we'll be doing, um, we'll be talking about Pluto and retrograde and the new moon energy, the uh, Libra, Libra, no, Taurus, Taurus new moon energy. I guess it's a balancing energy, but it's more an energy of creating fertile soil so you can plant some seeds for the future. Okay, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about love. We're going to talk about what's coming for everybody. You can find that on Patreon. The link is below for that. Every Thursday night we do a live. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Peace. Beautiful. Imagine. Between worlds. You're really having some impact with your manifesting. You may not see it quite yet, but this is where being at peace and doing your manifesting work is going to pay off. Okay. This between worlds energy is, is here, right? The, the black and white world going into the world of color, um, warmth, joy, moving into that, uh, manifesting right now is, um, important to keep doing it to keep being in your grounded place to keep being at peace staying very much in the moment if you get into fear and anxiety you will get sick okay you will get you will get make yourself sick you will make yourself um draw more to you that's making you anxious so the best thing to do is to settle 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 get yourself into a solid position of peace you know how you do that? You stay in the moment. You learn how to meditate. Those are things you can do right now. Nothing needed outside of you. It's all coming from inside you. I think, I think you know that, but I think knowing that in your head and actually doing it are two different things. All right. World. Subconsciously, you know one world is over and a new world is beginning between worlds there. Subconsciously, the card from under the deck is about the subconscious. Uh, I'm here to tell you, if you meditate, you're going to get a lot from it, okay? Judgment, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, that's beautiful. Devil Energy, Capricorn, wow! Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands, moving away from an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that's done. Okay, there might be some kind of uh, need for apology, like a mutual um, bearing of the hatchet. Okay, two of swords, nine of swords. Is it possible that you might think, watch the earth sign reading. Um, is it possible, six of swords, ten of pentacles, page of wands, ten of cups, um, got all, got a lot of tens here, but tens are an ending tens to the f 10 to one. So it's like, we're bearing the hatchet. Uh, but woof, I feel like this person is done. This earth sign is done. There's an apology at hand. Both of you might be apologizing to each other, but covering up your heart. Covering up your heart. I feel like you do want to move forward with this person. Right. Knight of Pentacles. Uh, Virgo. Capricorn Virgo. Nine of Cups. Wow. Look at all the knight energy here. Sag. Yes. Um, this person is likely a, a husband. A ex, an ex-husband. Lots of... Um, Night energy, two kids together.
you know, in order for you for you to move forward into this Ten of Cups, Page of Wands, uh, Ten of uh, Pentacles energy, I feel like you might want to move forward with this person again. There's two kids involved, but there's no there's no love here. There's money. There's money. There's wealth. There's uh, stability. The stability is in the financial realm, and I, I kind of feel like this person might have um, gone through a tough period regarding that. They might be changing their work entirely. And so if you're thinking that this person is still the same person, um, they, have, they have changed. All right, this person has changed. Lots of nines and tens here. Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, King of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is how um, this person has changed. This person has put to rest their mindset around money and, and uh, stability. It's, they now know that there's a new path, okay, for them. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And they're not going to be held back, bound up by their old ways, their old ways around financial, something about financial. This person could have been a financial person, all right? And I feel like there's, you feel like there's a chance at reconciliation, or you want to see if there's a chance at reconciliation. Um, I feel like you can help each other in some way, release each other from the past. I feel like that's the reason for the coming together. Not necessarily, you might think it's, you might think that you're getting this energy around this person because either they're coming to you or you're coming to them because it's about getting back together. It's, it's about releasing the old energy, releasing the past so that the new can come in. I feel like you are headed towards something really good. You are manifesting something really good right? But it's got to be Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, not 10. It's like the thing with this person has run its course. There does need to be another coming together, though. There does need to be another um, conversation. I think there's no shame in that game. I think that this really is going to be a um, an important conversation. I do feel like you need to get grounded. You need to imagine what it is you're wanting to create, okay? And when you do that, you're going to see that this person is no longer correct for you, right? The, the 10 that's missing is the 10 of wands. It's too much work. It's too much baggage. Um... This person's karmic job was to show you, was to teach you. I want one around that. This person's job, three of cups, two of pentacles. There's the ten of wands. Was to teach you how to trust your own intuition. Okay? Um, you know, if you go back to this person, what's going to happen again is this person can't make a decision. Person has another person on the side. Um, it's too much work on your part. You're doing all the work for this relationship. And I feel like you are going to then get at peace, get, you know, like now you're going to see this for what it truly is. Okay. Moving forward into this queen of swords place. Hmm, that's interesting. Moving out of the watery, even though this is Cancer and Pisces here, it's very cerebral. It is also meditative. Wheel of Fortune is, is Sagittarian. The Queen of Swords. I feel like you could be moving toward an air sign. You can be moving uh, toward something that's more clear for you. That air sign came up in the uh, earth sign reading too. These might, these are probably connected here. It happens. 
So it's you're needing the, all the four tens here. You're needing to embrace the ending of this. And even if you're resisting that right now, when I'm saying it, I'm hearing some of you go like, no, this has another chance. This really does. This there's something there's something here. You are correct. There is something here. There's a lesson for you in being in trusting your own intuition, in trusting yourself and putting down um, doing too much work, allowing for someone who has a third party, who has some kind of addiction. They have some kind of addiction here. Addiction to money or greed or wealth, addiction to um, power, addiction to third parties, lack of ability to commit, right? This person of uh, narcissistic personality. Uh, okay, so it's mellowing in your vision about this person. You're wanting to maybe, hey, let's bury the hatchet. Hey, it's for the kids, right? Because this wanting to have this experience, judgment. Wanting to have that, you know, like come to Jesus kind of meeting here. This person still has holding on to their baggage a little bit. And that's going to upset you. But all the tens, eight, nine, tens, everywhere here. So you're moving away from, you're completing the cycle with this person. And the lesson is about seeing what was not that good for you, doing all the work, codependency. Person is, all those things I just said about this person. Okay. So you're getting it, you're seeing it clearly now. Okay, you're going to be able to move off. There's three knights up there and there's three pages here. The page that's missing is the page of swords. And the knight that's missing is the knight of swords. So this is about being not really uh, clear, not seeing it clearly in your mind, not, not, and that's what's going to be happening. You're going to see, then you're moving into swords, right? You get me? You're moving into the sword, the queen of sword. You know it in your gut. And this is when, when you know it in your gut, when you actively are like, damn, this person is not the right one for me, but there are lessons for me to be learned. Once you embrace that in this queen of swords way, that's when you get to move on here. But there is another conversation that's coming. Okay. All right. So link is below for the extended. Uh, also the links for the classes, the tarot class and everything are below. And if you want to join the Patreon group, it's there too. All right, my darlings. If you want to keep going with me, I will see you over there.